What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So you just got your brand new Tesla Model Y or Model 3 and you're trying to figure out do you even need a screen protector or not? There's a lot of different versions out there like gloss to matte to, I don't know, there's probably other versions that are crazy to glass or something. But in this video, I actually just got a matte screen protector from the Pro Leap shop, P-R-O-L-E off of Instagram and they have their own store. So thank you to ProLeap for sending out this screen protector out. It's a matte screen protector because I really like this type of feel for screen protector than the, even the gloss or even the glass one. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and install it on my brand new Tesla Model Y that I just got pretty recently, so we'll do. So hopefully it's a good product and everything will go smoothly and I'll give you my thoughts on whether you should get this matte screen protector as well. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching another video and let's get into it. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I have a Tesla Model Y performance and I make videos about my experience. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So this is the box. It doesn't necessarily say Pro Leap anywhere on it, but it pretty much probably all comes from the same factory and they just ship it. The stickers on the label right there says Pro Leap. Uh, but let's just do a quick unboxing to see exactly what it all comes with before we install it on my Model Y screen. So just unboxing and taking the tape off, it looks like it comes with a cloth. Got to be really careful so you don't crack this. I actually cracked one when I was installing my Model 3 screen protector. It's got some wipes and some guide stickers just like if you were to install a screen protector on your phone. So going to the Model Y screen, of course you should turn off the display. So you go to settings, then display, and then screen clean mode. And this will show you all your fingerprints on your screen and how nasty you are. And so of course you should clean this before putting on the screen protector. So opening this up, this is probably like a cleaner of some sort, hopefully. Uh, and of course it's like super small, like smaller than my thumb basically. Which is kind of funny because this small little cloth is supposed to clean this huge screen. So yeah, maybe I would uh, bring a bigger cleaner when you install your screen protector because uh, this is very, very small. I mean, I guess it kind of does the job. Uh, but you gotta, it's probably gonna be completely dry by the end of this cleaning. I would probably bring an air can. That's what I should have definitely brought, a duster can so I can blow all the dust and all the dog hair because I do have two corgis from this screen. So they do have another one, so I'm gonna use this to dry it. And so let's, so I'm gonna use this one to dry it. And of course, uh, this one is also just really, really small. Let's, uh, oh, and uh, of course I just, I think I just put my fingerprint on it. Uh, so I can't even really see if this is clean or not, but I'm gonna assume all the dust. I really should have bought a screen protector or got this screen protector right when I took delivery of my Model Y. So right when I, well, so right when I take off the factory kind of sticker, it would just be completely spec free, hopefully in theory, but I don't think it actually came with any sort of plastic wrap on the screen. So now I'm gonna use the flash on the phone to see if I miss anywhere. And yeah, there's a ton of fingerprints still on this screen. You can see there's like micro scratches too. So I'm gonna use, uh, let's see, I got a rag here. Let me use that to try and clean it some more. This is probably better than those small dinky screen protectors. Okay, yeah, much, much better. You can't really see any fingerprints whatsoever. I think I'm gonna do another wipe just to make sure before I install the screen protector on it. All right, so taking this screen protector out, you gotta be def you definitely have to be really careful because these things crack really, really easily. Uh, and then another thing you have to also be mindful of is which side's the top and which side's the bottom. It's like slightly more rounder at the bottom. So we could do a test fit right now, but it looks pretty good, pretty clean. It looks like this is the top right here because it's a flat edge and then this bottom edge is rounded. So let's see if I can go ahead and install it. Uh, it looks like I just take off this side first and then just stick it on to the car. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down really quickly while I install this. Okay, so I just put it on and you 
you can see it's slowly getting all the bubbles out. So I'm just gonna push it in the center right there and then try and push it to the right. This is definitely going to get some bubbles. Uh, hopefully, I, good thing I got some cards and I can push some of these bubbles out using that. But the one thing with this one is I noticed there isn't a, usually there's like another film on top of that so that when I use the card, it won't necessarily scratch it. But yeah, I guess there isn't on this one. So uh, some feedback to ProLeap, you should definitely put another wrap on here so that when I iron it out with my credit card, it doesn't scratch the screen even more. Okay, so usually I would take a credit card and try and buff and push some of the bubbles out, but I don't want to scratch the screen, so I'm going to use my wallet because it's a, a little bit of a softer edge and it's leather. So I'm going to push some of this out, but definitely if you have like a plastic squeegee, that'd be good, but this is it's doing its job. It's um, pushing these bubbles out pretty slowly, but let's go ahead and finish this out and then I'll turn the screen back on. All right, so it's pretty much done. I got almost all the bubbles out. Yeah, it looks like I got all the bubbles out and so now the moment of truth let me hold the exit and we're back and I really like the matte feel or matte screen protector look it gives it like a more premium feel than the gloss I think or like the ultra clear glass with like the glass look and another thing is it also prevents a lot of anti-glare too which is really nice and of course it reduces fingerprints so a matte screen protector is a hundred percent vote for yes in my opinion so definitely check out pro leap if you're interested in getting one to buy one from them or any of the other vendors out there i think i think they sell it pretty cheap but definitely check out one of these screen protectors from them but yeah, thanks for watching this quick video about me installing my screen protector, my matte screen protector, and telling you why I think it's a good purchase or a good accessory to get for your Tesla Model Y or Model 3. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it. And comment below, do you have the gloss or glass screen protector, or if you love the matte just like I do? Love to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!